Welcome to the very first episode of Seriously on Serious on Brewana TV. Today, I want to tell you how I literally finished my mom's breast milk in one day. My name is Mr. Bright. Before I hit you with this very interesting fact, Pardon? sorry, fiction about my life, I want to give you 5 seconds to support this channel by smashing that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell icon so that you will be the first to be notified when the next episode of Seriously on Serious drops. Welcome back. Continue. A little over three decades ago, at about 11.05 p.m. Well, date unknown. This narrator was born in Echefu Memorial Hospital, Olu, in Imo State, Nigeria. A hospital that would later go into extinction after his birth simply because this Mr. Bright finished his mother's breast milk in one day. Wow. Let me tell you how it all started. It was really very cloudy on that very night. So cloudy that you can barely see anything without the help of light. The darkness was accompanied by thunder and lightning. Already, my mom had started pushing. Pushing? Yeah, pushing, if you really know what I mean. Then at about 11.03 p.m., Nepa took light. But what's Nepa? Google it. I am still searching Google. It is Google, not Google. All right, Google it. The hospital had just one doctor two black female nurses, and one albino. And what's the gender of the albino? She male. Why are you running? Why are you running? So the black nurses rushed out to turn on the only power generating set in the hospital. After about two minutes of waiting for the light to come on, the doctor now realized that the generator, which was both older and stronger than the ladies, had overpowered them. So he rushed outside to use his many years of experience to power on the coconut-headed generator. So my pushing mom was now left with only the albino as he... Wait! He or she? He, she. What did you say, nigga? He, she was the only one who could see my pushing mom through the darkness. I guess that was even the only reason he, she was employed in the hospital in the first place. To see through every darkness. As soon as the doctor left the room, I jumped nah. into the world. Yeah. Unlike you that cried like a baby when you were born. I laughed so hard like I was very high on marijuana. <laughs> but why? You may ask. So why? You know, what made me jump into the world instead of the traditional snail pace everyone takes was I looked out and saw the white he she and became very excited to enjoy my perceived European life. To the fullest i didn't even see my mom i was only seeing the abino but my happiness was short-lived when light finally came and the doctor came in with the two black ladies then i realized this must be 
Africa. Look at that bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, she's... I didn't just start crying, but I started weeping. My future, my oh, oh, my son is oh, my strong is oh, my oh, oh, like you, I can't even resist. Oh my God, if it doesn't, oh my God. My beautiful mom started breastfeeding me from that time until 11.55 p.m. When my dad took all the risk under the heavy rain to come and support my mom after being detained by the police for many hours for overspeeding. Despite my dad having me in his arms and singing all the lullabies he could remember, I just ignored him and increased the volume of my weeping <laughs> then he said to my mom Biko you need to breastfeed him more and my mom responded please I can't he has finished all the milk in my breast there is no single drop of milk left again. <laughs> I just started laughing and everyone joined me. This was happening around 11.59 p.m. But guess what? By 12.05 a.m. she breastfed me again. I love you so much mom and dad. This is the end of of the story what so how does this affect the hospital going into extinction honestly speaking i am pleased to tell you from the bottom of my heart that i don't know <laughs>